Hello everybody, welcome to the United Way. It is unacceptable. Eric Ten Hag has come out clear and hard with all the Manchester United players who have tried to show some level of indiscipline in Manchester United. Guys, before we start, guys, we have some news, transfer news of United players. We have some slightly good news for you as a fan. We've been digging this and uh, we've had the confirmation from, from those who are in charge of, you know, getting out news out there so guys before we start make sure you smash that like button and please share the videos with all united fans we try to upload videos here every day do watch alongs do q and a in future if you want to be part of the channel you're free to do so it is free you lose nothing so uh let's go straight to the news you remember i did a video here about cristiano ronaldo in the last game we played against real Vallecano, leaving the pitch in old trafford uh 10 minutes before the end of the game i think 10 15 it doesn't matter but before the end of the game that's my that matters most i tried to back up cristiano ronaldo here because he's someone which you know you cannot doubt cristiano ronaldo's professionalism but um it turned out that cristiano ronaldo leaving the pitch and not only him by the way we had Bruno Fernandes who was there. We had the Portuguese clique. We had uh, also the two uh, Diallo, Diego Diallo, who was there, in, uh, who left earlier. So we have had some, uh, the, uh, Ten Hag has had an interview in Holland just yesterday. And he has come out clear and clarified everything. He said, this is for Fabrizio Romano. Fabrizio Romano, you can read it up here. Eric Ten Hag <laughs> on Cristiano Ronaldo and other Manchester United players leaving Old Trafford earlier versus Rayo. I don't certainly accept this. I think this is unacceptable. He stressed on it. For everyone, tell, uh, for everyone tells, yeah, we are a team and you have to stay until the end. That was Ten Hag, what he said. We are a team. It's unacceptable. We have to stay to the end. Guys, you guys know, I don't love this type of video, controversial video. My aim of this channel is to talk about football tactics, my opinion, and share and listen to your opinion because this is what fans do. Just because in... When I was a kid, I don't know how old you guys was. In the 80s, we didn't have this opinion, opinion where we could talk with people from different areas. So uh, as someone who has who understands football and someone who follow Manchester United very closely, I thought it made sense for us to always be sharing opinions. My, the whole idea of this channel is not to listen or agree with what I say. It is, this is the wrong way to go. We always need to argue, but at the end of the day, we have a goal. The problem that Manchester United for the past 10 years, like over a decade, has been man on united you know because they have been the, the fact that we are not united that's the reason why we still have people who are taking the money away from our club the fact that we are not united that's why coaches leave our club and they they support players not club there was pogba fc there was abramovich fc there was Falcao fc and there is from ronaldo fc we have to be loyal on the brand on the badge you know manchester united is the only thing we have not lacos but <laughs> manchester united is the only thing we have so uh I, I don't know how long you've been a fan this is the only club i have really loved now globally i do love also the club but i have a special relationship with this club as, uh, for 30 years now and ov over 30 years slightly over 30 years i'm not a kid you know so um, um yeah guys so that the, it, it's, it's what it's uh, i think it's a disgrace what's going on with the team because united united now we have finally found in i mean since Sir alex ferguson left the club we have managed to get hand on a very good coach i want to bring your your you're thinking back just two three months ago did you remember when we're talking about oh maybe it will be um pochettino maybe is, is going to be eric tegna pochettino eric tegna that was the vibe do you manchester united already really decided they wanted eric tegna but did you know why eric tegna did not sign the, that earlier the only reason why eric tegna did not put pen to paper so earlier because he wanted to get control of the club there were certain points that he, he that the club need to agree to him they, he had he wanted total power so if cristiano ronaldo is staying at manchester united he needs to listen to ten Hag. ten Hag, ten Hag can let let him go or ten Hag can put him on the bench ten Hag has i will put it this way ten Hag since i think ten Hag is considered one of the managers that have more power since uh say alex ferguson left manchester united he's playing things cool he knows that without discipline we cannot meet up the challenges in we are with the club so guys, I'm saying this. Why am I emphasizing on this? Because the season is starting up. You know Ten Hag is not a British coach. You, the, you know Manchester United, we have the match-going fans, those who go to the games. We have those who are online like you and I. We watch all the games. 
that. <laughs> and uh, the, uh, we, the Twitter fans, you know, the aggressive Twitter fans and, uh, you know, uh, social media fans, let's put it this way. And Manchester United love them because Manchester United is social media and Manchester United. Guys, I have some transfer news. We'll be a bit later. So uh, my point is that, please, guys, I am not Sir Alex Ferguson. I am a nobody. You can call it that way. But I'm a United fan who love the club. Back the manager. I don't want all these Ronaldo lovers who stop here and say, oh, because of Ronaldo, they are not supporting United. Because this is the problem. You know, this is the problem we have at this club. Because we have to um, have, uh, create loyalty for the badge, for the, for the club. Because we haven't won anything in 10 years. Yeah, European League, we have. Community, community Shell. We haven't been, let me use the word, been relevant in Europe. Not even talk about the Premier League in the past 10 years. So we need to support him. And we have a coach, which is not a British coach, a coach who, is not, who does not have friends in the UK, a coach who, which will, have, will, will lose games with Manchester United, a coach that not, needs to build a team, a coach that is working with a board which is so incompetent, you know, inept uh, 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 board we have. Only if, say, Alex Ferguson knew with David Gill how they went through them, that they could go around and, and, and manage the club Manchester United because... We need to be behind. My point is we have to be behind the, uh, the, the badge. So please, I've pulled this along because it's so important as the season is kicking up. Yeah, let's change the news now. So we do have some uh, good news. The good news is that we're letting our players in the wrong way. And the reason why we are letting, the, I call it the wrong way, why a player, player is leaving Manchester United in the wrong way is because we are lending out players. It just came out uh, that um, uh, Bruno... Uh, Romano has just uh, said, um, tell us, tell us actually his loan deal is in an advanced position. Romano has confirmed that Alex Tezer to Seville, here we go. So it's already confirmed. Full agreement completed between Manchester United on a loan until 2023. Uh, 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 until 2023. Being told there, no buy option clause, you see. So we are not selling Teles. And the reason that we are not selling Teles is why. Do you know why Manchester United don't sell their players? The only reason United don't sell their players is because we give them crazy wages. We give Teles is earning in Manchester United. He hasn't played anything. He earns a, a week £90,000. $100,000 a week. That's what brought Teles to Manchester United. We pay players crazy salary. Crazy salary. You will not believe it. We, we, Manchester United, um, and, the whole, and this was the old system of Manchester United. The old system, why we just changed now? Because the, the, our previous lazy CEO, who, who was uh, Ed Woodward, all he looked at players as mentioned, merchandise. He never looked at them as, in terms of performance. So for him, it was easy, the best way for you, because I want you guys to understand something. If we sell, the bigger, the reason, Manchester United could sell Manchester could sell Cristiano Ronaldo could let him go, but the problem that if United sell Cristiano Ronaldo or Ronaldo the push himself out, United United need to invest extra 60, 70 million in the market. This is the problem the club don't want to because we have owners who are not interested. I'm sorry to say this. I'm not a negative person. You guys can watch my videos, but that is a fact that we know. We have to agree with that. So that's the why we keep players. We pull their contract just to. Because these guys don't care about the club. That's a short way to put it this way. Because we keep players just to, to like to, to paper the cracks, as they say in English, but just to, to, to camouflage that we have a team, but we know the, what is a player like Felix Jones doing in Manchester United. When you and I know he is not capable because he has a salary of 100K, 100,000 euros, 100, euros a, a, a week, that's 90,000 pounds, while he's not playing any football. That's weekly salary. So you, you guys need to wake up and smell the coffee and get, uh, get things right. Another good news here from Manchester United, uh, it's about, uh, we have heard from, Chris, uh, from uh, Fabrizio Romano all our year, these are not fake news, uh, that um, uh, Fabrizio Romano said the uh, key days for Benjamin Sesco's future with contacts going Manchester United uh, know they have to be fast in the deal after meeting with Agent days ago. So United has found some interest for Benjamin Stesco. I did a video in the morning telling you guys if Stesco was the right person for United. I think he was young for the deal. I think he is not really, um, he's a talent. That's, that's for sure. But the question is, can he, can he, my, 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 I, my, op, my question was, can he lead United to something in the Premier League? Because the Premier League, I mean, the, the, the Austrian Bundesliga is okay, but the Premier League is particularly not only quick, it's not only too much money, but the pressure, the media pressure and the demands vary. They are very, they are very difficult. It's a very difficult league for 19 years old to come and pull the string. He will need 
a level of concentration to have an average season. So uh, that was my position in, re in regards to him personally. So uh, this is just the news that uh, we do have uh, for today. We don't want to talk about negative news a lot. We have had a lot of them, guys. Please, if you learned something from this video, please make sure you smash a like on the video. If there's something I've said which is wrong, we are a community. You can drop your comments below. And guys, please, I will be very happy to join you. You guys join the community and bring in your knowledge because we are building a fan channel. We wanted to hit 5K by 5,000 subs by... Um, by Sunday, which the league kicks off, so we can do a giveaway. Giveaway. We haven't met it, but you know what? When the league kicks off, I would say in the first five, ten days, if we can hit this, ten, five, ten playing days, if we can hit this milestone, I'll see do the giveaway because I want to give something back to you guys who have been uh, in investing your time in these my short videos. And guys, I would love to be doing live contents, but it will be preferable when we have hit like 10k. Why? Because with live contents. If you have like 10K, you can have 50 people interacting on live videos so we can be answering questions for you and guys. So this is your channel. Nothing to say, but uh, thanks a lot for being part of it. Talk to you soon, guys. Bye-bye.